Hey everyone, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and today I am back with the Beads to Live By Seed Beads and Vintage Buttons monthly subscriptions for November 2022. You can choose to receive one or both of these on a monthly basis with the prices starting at $18.99 per month and being discounted a bit if you decide to sign up for a longer period of time. And every month we have a certain color scheme to go along with our size 11 O seed beads and we're going to go through eight different colors of those today. So we'll see what that theme is in just a moment. Then we'll finish that up by checking out those buttons. So let me open up this package. All right, we have a note on the top. And it looks like our theme is called Nutcracker, and that will be what you can find these beads listed under at their website. You can find these specific codes that go along with these 110 seed beads if you'd like to order more, either on your own or through Beads to Live By, because of course they are a bead shop as well. And you receive coupons on these little inserts, so be sure to take a peek at those that come in your box. For the seed bead subscription, it says that they chose some festive colors with the right amount of metallics and pizzazz. And then for the buttons, it says they were able to do a little bit of color coordinating with the seed bead club. So with that out of the way, let's take a peek into our bundle. And here are both of these subscriptions and how they come neatly packaged up. And we will go through the seed beads first and take a closer look at this color selection one at a time. And if you subscribe every month, you're gonna get eight bags that look like this and they contain 10 total grams of high quality seed beads. These are very uniform. And ones that would be great in all sorts of different projects, including bead weaving, where you need some seed beads that are more precise. So this is our first color, which is beautiful, a neutral light gold to bring in one of those metallics that they mentioned. Here is a closer look at this one in the bead tray, which I will try to leave a link to down below. I always have people asking me where I got these ceramic dishes. So I'll leave you at least a link so you can get your hands on some of these. I love these dividers and you see me using them a lot. So for that first color, that light gold, it looks like it also has perhaps a rainbow or AB type of luster finish. And I'm seeing a bit of a silver lining inside of that hole, which give these even more sparkle. Up next is this stunning variety of light gray. It's got a matte finish, so it's more frosty looking and also has what appears to be an AB coating, which you can see subtly showing up and providing those tones of blue, purple, a little bit of gold, which does seem to add some pizzazz to these light gray seed beads. Our third selection is similar to the ones we just looked at, but these are not matte, so they have that more shiny and transparent appearance. Still in a shade of light gray or silver, and that rainbow or AB coating making these have that iridescent bubble-like effect. Up next is this very wintry bluish gray tone that has a beautiful sheen to it and it sort of looks pearlescent. A slightly deeper tone in that grayish family and when put next to a bluish color sort of takes on that tone as well. Speaking of which, here's our next color. This one has a overall teal or greenish blue appearance. Also has a beautiful shine and the AB coating giving us that rainbow effect once again. That is so beautiful. These are a deep color of transparent glass. And here is color number six, which happens to match my nail color perfectly, but these are a matte finish, sort of ceramic effect seed bead. I love working with these. There's something so satisfying about the feeling of the coating. I was playing with these in the spiral stitch inspired pieces that I did for the recent spiral stitch seed bead tutorial. And there's a satisfying feel when these are used in that spiral stitch. Maybe just a weird sensory thing on my end though. <laughs> 
And bringing in more of that pinkish tone, we have this deep magenta that's also transparent with the AB coating. I love how the coatings and everything are switched up from bag to bag. And this palette is definitely stunning and a little bit unexpected, I have to say. I love how it's coming together. And we have one more color to check out. And that is another matte in this deep shade of mauve, also in that ceramic style, frosty opaque seed bead, and a bit more toned down in this shade of brownish pink. So that is our wonderfully coordinated collection of seed beads for this month. Another stunner that I can't wait to play with. I'm constantly using size 11 seed beads, so getting some in all different colors on a monthly basis like this is really handy. Not to mention it's fun to play around with seed bead projects in general, I think. Go back and explore some of those bead weaving basic stitches that use these really simple materials and are still a lot of fun to whip up. We're going to get into the vintage buttons in just a moment. I want to also let you know that they have companion packs to go along with the subscription so you can get extra strands of coordinating check glass. So be sure to look around on their site that I leave right down below because it's a great way to add to these existing subscriptions and get some other fun shapes and sizes. And then next with our buttons, you're going to get eight bags containing one button each, so eight buttons every month in a collection of vintage check glass that are always really artistic and unique and often add some one-of-a-kind touches to your beadwork. So here is bag number one containing this lovely glass heart. It's got a reflective silver backing, that's why it looks extra shiny. And that texture on the top really allows the glass to catch the light beautifully and amplifies that reflective quality. It is clear on the top and then on the back you can see that silver backing and the location of that hole. Up next is this adorable white opaque snowflake design that's pressed into the top of the smaller button with some extra details around the edge and that built-in hole back there. Here is button number three. This is a big one. I had to look at it for a second to figure out what it was. At first, I wasn't sure if it was like a vase or an urn, and then I was like, oh, okay, that's the profile. So it's actually like a profile similar to a cameo style. Very ornate and artistic with the shiny silver and gold details over top of the glass, which kind of shifts from a crystal clear and a light gray, depending on the area. And there is a look at the metallic buttonhole at the back. Up next, these are some of my favorite styles when they have the jet black opaque glass in the background and then the AB coating, which pops on top of that, gives you those electric shades of blue, purple, aqua, sometimes gold and green. We have that knotted design on the top, and there is a look at the back. Here is something similar in a larger size. This has a lot of texture to it with those deep inset areas and ridges. You get some of that color play with that blue and purple that shows up on top of the black. And again, here is a look at the back where the metal component is located. Our sixth button is in this pear design with the hint of red on the side that fades into the opaque white and the additional details of the leaves and the stem on top of that white opaque glass. And here's the back detail with that attached pressed hole. Next up, we have this little berry design, the bright pops of red, a little bit of green, and brown from the leaf and stem motif on top of the black glass. This is a little bit domed in its shape, and then it has a metallic component there at the back. And our eighth and final button in this gorgeous gold metallic transparent glass with that sort of concave area in the center, you could probably place a half-drilled pearl in there or some type of a rhinestone if you wanted to, or leave that just as it is. 
And then if we take a look at the back, it's got the pressed hole located right back there in that same transparent light gold. So that wraps it up for another fun Beads to Live By collection of seed beads and the vintage check glass buttons. So another job well done, I think, for these subscriptions. If you sign up, you'll get something similar to this month after month, and you are welcome to sign up to one or the other or both. And like I said, check out the companion packs that they offer regularly to go along with these two subscriptions. You can find out everything you need to know about subscribing on their website. I will link to that right down below the video. And I look forward to incorporating these beads into future pieces. Also, in case you got a peek of this bracelet, because I'm not sure if it showed up in any part of the video or not at this point, this is the Rula Regalia bracelet that I shared in the latest tutorial. So be sure to check out that video if you'd like to learn how to make this bracelet. And inside that video, you're going to see, I believe, five additional colorways on top of this one. Also, real quick, I touched on it in the beginning of the video, but you can find out these specific codes that go along with these size 11 OC beads and the brands by hopping on over to their website, where they usually update a few days later with that list of codes, and you can use that to search around to find out what those colors are called, even though these bags are not individually labeled. And I gotta say, I happen to not mind that at all because I can then reuse those little bags and I feel like I don't toss as many out. So that's all for today's video. I wanna thank you all so much for joining me. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this subscription or the color palette or anything else you'd like to say. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and feel free to share the video with your other beading friends. That is all I have for now. I hope to be back real soon though. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and as always, happy beating.